Hi right, guys, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play walkthrough. Today we have the Night Fisherman, which I wanted to play through because it looked like a really neat short visual novel game. Um, yeah, I know I'm double posted for the day, but it looked like a pretty neat game. So as always, I'll leave a link to the game if you want to try it for yourself. I'm gonna try to get all the options though. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. You are a Night Fisherman. You spot a boat approaching in the distance. Huh, can I move my camera? After stowing your flashlight, you reach over the side of the boat and collect a palm full of water. You throw it over your face, washing the night's stress away. You pick up your rod and open your bait pouch. Oh, we're about to fucking do battle. Toss bowl, bait in the water, hook a live maggot. Hook a live maggot. You wince as you pierce its squirming body. Behold it regretfully for a moment and cast a line. Oh no, he's the one I'm doing. Oh god, he's got a shotgun. Is that Ash from Evil Dead? Huh. The man in the other boat has a thin strap across his body. I can... On his back you can see a protruding stock of a shotgun. Oh, I can look at like different perspectives. That's kind of cool. Oh god. What is going on here? I have like five looking options. Hello sir, I'm Churchill with the EPG. Hello. I'm checking in with all vessels in the sea. I'm wondering if you wouldn't mind lending me a lighter. Mine must have gone overboard. No, Mr. Churchill. I, of course. I said no. No, this is a bad idea. You toss the lighter to the other boat. Thank you, sir. You are Mr. Gardiner, are you not? That'll be me. The other man lights his cigarette, then pockets your lighter. What a dick. You still glance around your boat. You know who I am. What I do. I do. Then please, tell me, what is it that I do? This is a trap. You find immigrants. Consider for a moment as Churchill's eyes fix on you. You're part of the English Protection Group. You stop smugglers from bringing immigrants into England. Oh god, I have an immigrant right there behind me. Shit! Bingo. That's the job Mr. F has given us indeed. You can't see him. We're good right now. Stay down, little kid. This is my duty to sell about checking every boat out here. Checking the caves. Our leader doesn't want any immigrants slipping through the net. It's good speaking to you, Mr. Churchill. But how am I able to help? Ah, I'm sure you can't. I'm sure you're an upstanding man, Mr. Gardiner. But perhaps you've helped me another way. You must hear gossip. Perhaps from Mrs. Gardiner. Oh, uh, did my wife rat me out? Have you heard anything about the smugglers? Ah. You reach down, grab a tin of cheap sandy bass or shandy bass beer. I heard. They moved up north. We'll go to the top one first, we'll go to the bottom one next. Just a rumor, mind you, but they moved north. Apparently there's better caves near the next estuary anyway. So, they let their French counterparts know how to make a slightly longer journey. Ah, oh, shame. Perhaps they all fucks us this time. The man sighs into his cigarette, and as you drink into your watery lager... I can't move my camera anymore. Well, in that case, there's nothing more... Nothing more for me to do here. My work is done. Sorry to have troubled you. Not at all, sir. A welcome distraction. Churchill drops his shoulders. He's at ease now. His threatening presence is dissipating. Thick. Churchill turns his head to his boat, readying himself to leave. Caught anything tonight? Not much luck tonight, no. Nor me. You know what they call me in the lefty papers? He hovers for your answer. The Kid Fisher. You're apprehensive, unsure how he'll re react. They call you the Kid Fisher. Yes, a name I've well earned. He's focusing on you again now, no longer leaving. Shit. They call me the best, this because I'm the best at fishing immigrants out of this channel before they can reach shore. And because they say I cast them back out to the water. It's not a perfect metaphor. Here's a better one. The animal that best embodies the character of an Englishman is naturally the lion. We are proud, stubborn, often uninterested in menial labor, but so powerful that others will do it for us. 
So most of the EPG will hunt in places which could hide a lion. They check sturdy shipping containers and yachts. The illegal immigrants are pigeons, not lions. They swarm in great number, attracted to urban places, roost anywhere they can, and most importantly, we don't like them. Now, pigeons are ne really no different than the beloved jay. But we malign the pigeon. Consider them d dirty vermin. It's difficult to be a pigeon. Mr. Gardener, I'm the best at catching them because I know what tremendous human feats human beings are capable of once they abandon their dignity. Uh-oh. You listen in silence. Where's my gun at? Ah, anyway. I assume you won't, mi won't mind if I enjoy a tipple? What's a tipple? What's a tipple? Go ahead. The other man pulls an elegant bottle out of his jacket pocket. The blue glass is artfully blown. It appears that those thorny rose stems are wrapped around it. The bottle is cast with a cast metal step stopper in the shape of a rose. He removes it and drinks from the bottle. Sapphire rose. There's no better scotch. I... I'm going to have to inspect your boat. But when people cooperate with me, they are not punished. In fact, they are given safe, pa given safe passage home to their loved ones, and no charges are brought. You understand? No. I. Kid Fisher's face becomes deadly serious. You're transporting an illegal immigrant, aren't you? You consider for a second, and that very consideration gives you away. There's nothing for it now. Where's my gun? I. They're hiding underneath the tarpaulin behind you, aren't they? Tears mixed with the sea spray and sweat, dripping into the boat. Oh fuck. Aye. I will now throw you a line. Move far away from the tarpaulin and get ready to swim. The rope attached to the large vessel lands at the floor of the boat, away from the trap. Tarp. Go to the boy. You kneel by the tarp, take the boy- Oh shit, I was supposed to pick all the bottom answers. Take the boy's hands in your own. His eyes- his confused eyes cut at you. I'm sorry, lad. Churchill takes another sip of sapphire rose, stops it, and puts it back inside his coat. Such a shame, Mr. Gardiner. You should have- could have taken the rope and been dropped safely home. I'll send my regards to your wife. Fuck. Rule Britannia. Damn it! Damn it! Fisherman boat flips, this hull partly shattered for a few seconds. Churchill watches the water, weapon at the ready. The boy resurfaces, gasping for air, misted with the fisherman's blood. Churchill lines up his final shot. Damn it, dude. Then relaxes the gun with a static grin. Laughing, he turns his vessel and ready, readies it to sail on. I hope we meet again. Goodbye, little one. Watching the boat leave, the boy begins weakly to swim. Oh, well, I hope the boy makes it, at least. Damn, dude. We're making one short narrative a month. To play more like this, search for far for few giants. Okay, we're gonna do the other ending now. Rematch. Is there a way I can win? <laughs> like, is there a way I can live and save the boy? Short by default and charred. Sound by Richard Campbell. The Night Fisherman. We're going to speed through the chat I've already seen. And like new chat will slow down. But I'm going to do the other options. Because I want to see. If there's another ending. Night Fisherman. Alright this time we put the boiled bait into the water. Toss boiled bait into the water. You let the maggots be. Instead you toss a handful of smelly boiled bait into the sea. And cast your line. The man in the other boat has a thin strap across his body. On his back, he can super. Okay, we got that. No, you can't have my lighter. You suck. Stay silent. You don't answer the question. No need to be shy, Mr. Gardner. It's a long night, and I'm starved for conversation. Indulge me. You. You stop smuggling. You consider for a moment as Churchill's eyes fix on you. You're part of the English Protection Group. You stop smugglers and bringing in militants. Bingo, that's the job Mr. F has given us indeed. Who's Mr. F? It's my duty to sail about checking every boat out there, checking the caves. Our leader doesn't want any 
any immigrant slipping through the net. It's good to speak with you. Alright, so there's that. I heard. We spooked them, they stopped. Just a rumor, mind you, but they stopped operating. Apparently they got scared of the EPG, spooked and dieting. So they let their French counterparts know to use not use this area anymore. Ah, uh, shame. So the cowards ran back to their mother's skirts. No fun. The man sighs into a cigarette as you drink into your watery lager. Well, in that case, there's nothing more for me to do here. My work is done. Sorry to have troubled you. Ah, oh, that was easy. Not at all, sir. Welcome distraction. Churchill drops his shoulders. He's at ease now. His threatening... Ah, oh, fuck. This is what happened last time before he shot me. Not much luck tonight. Da, da, da. I don't pay attention to things like that. No, of course not. But you've heard it, surely. You know the name. Aye. Then please, what is it? The dark mass of sweat on your brow. The Kid Fisher. You're apprehensive, unsure how he'll react. They call you the Kid Fisher. Yes, a name I've well earned. He's focusing on you again now, no longer leaving. They call me this because I'm the best at fishing immigrants out of the channel before they reach the shore. Okay, let's see what happens when I... We got one option left. Oh, please don't shoot me. Uh, anyway. I do mind if you enjoy the temple, actually. Okay, what happens when I board his boat? Maybe I can, like, snap his neck or something. Follow his instructions. You shuffle to the front of the boat and take the safety line. Hands quivering, you keep your eyes up. Away from the boat, boy under the tarpaulin. Churchill takes another sip of his sapphire rose, stoppers it, and places it back into his coat. Excellent. Mrs. Gardner will be very pleased to have you home safe and sound. Roll Britannia. Your boat flips the whole shot through. For a few seconds, all is black. The rope begins to pull you through the bitter waves. Churchill has, heaves you aboard his boat, then handcuffs you slumped against the guardrail. Guard For a few seconds, he watches the water's weapons at the ready. The boy resurfaces, gasping at the sea air. Churchill lines up his final shot. Then relaxes the gun with a sad grin. Laughing, he turns his vessel and still readies it to sail on. I hope we meet again. Goodbye, little one. Reach, watching the boat leave, the boy begins to weakly swim. Man. So, if I would have left the boy, I would have survived anyways. <laughs> we would have both survived. Ah, being a coward is the right way sometimes, I guess. Alright guys, sorry for the double post again, but this game looked pretty interesting. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Bye!